Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and we have another LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. This happens to be level 10, the finale for the story. That's right. We still have some lots of free play to do, but we're getting really close to the end. We do have one more main level to complete to uh, wrap up the Force Awakens story bits, but uh, we are going to get a trophy achievement for completing the level called It Belongs to Me. Uh, according to our math, the true Jedi requirement looks to be 70,000, and we do fall a little bit short of that. And we also get a couple of vehicle and character tokens. So that being said, we have continued the story from where we left off last, and here we are on the Star Killer Base Hub area. And we can see that we've got a nice little guide stud trail here, and it's taking us to a battle with some stormtroopers. So we're going to go ahead and eradicate these baddies with a little bit of cha 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 cha. And once they're all taken care of, we're going to hopefully get a nice little multiplier and stack up some more studage because we are still looking for that 1 million stud mark, which we actually do a little farming at the end of, uh, well, we've already done a little farming, but we're going to do a little bit more after this one. And if you don't have a million studs by the time you finish the entire story, we actually have a nice little method to farm some studs thanks to Dougie Fresh 613 who if you don't know he is our resident guide writer and has put together a nice little trophy achievement guide with all sorts of information including mini kit locations red brick locations and much much more so if you're ahead of the video series or maybe you're just the type that likes the textual type guides feel free to go ahead and check out our website at happythumbsgaming.com and look for the trophy achievement guide area and uh, as of this video posting it should be the top guide on our list so we do have a handful of other guides for Lego and other games, so feel free to check those out. Meanwhile, we're just going to go ahead and ride this Star Killer base ship all the way to the back where we can't go anymore. And then we're going to hop out and make our way to the hologram area in the back. Once we collect the <laughs> collect, hit the button indicated, we're going to go ahead and take off into the scrolling text. So uh, we only have a couple more of these before we are done. And, I, and the new Star Wars Adventure ones have these too. So we do have like, I don't know, six or seven more. But we're, we're getting close. We got the majority of them done. And that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut my yapper so you can figure out what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Star One. We're overwhelmed. What do we do? It isn't working. We gotta mop up some of these TIE fighters before we can make another run at that oscillator. <laughs> All right. More flying, and this time it's in an X-Wing. Uh, to be honest with you, I probably should have sped this up a little bit more than I did, although there's a lot of, like, sudden movements, ups and downs, lefts and rights. It might have made everybody a little bit sick. Um, that being said, so this particular part you need to take out looks like 20 TIE Fighters, I think, or 15 or 20. I think I got a whole bunch right off the bat. But, and then they seem to kind of disappear. And I don't, maybe it was just user error. I get to like six or seven left, and then they almost seem to like disappear and be gone. But, and then I find like one straggler here and one straggler there. And eventually I, I end up getting all the way there. But it does kind of take a little bit longer than I would have hoped. And uh, to be completely honest with you too, I did have to play this level twice. I made a mistake and accidentally got a mini kit. And you know how I am about getting those mini kits in the story. I avoided it at all costs. So I restarted the level and came back and played. And this time, I actually did a little bit better than the first time. The first time I played this area, I mean, it took me almost 10 minutes, I think. Which is ridiculous, because you only have to take out a few ties. But there just wasn't any ties to take out. And then when I'd finally see one go blazing by me, I couldn't catch up with it and get the aim right before I said, Oh, I better turn around and catch him. And then I'd turn around and try to catch him and he was gone. So look at me, I'm I'm all over the place. Let's just hope we're wearing a vomit-proof suit inside this X-Wing. <laughs> things are getting a little squirrely. But as you can see, things have died down quite a bit now. I only have four left. And, and there was that one right there, and I couldn't even get him. And then, oh, I'm tracking him. Oh, I finally got him. I think I got him. 
It's kind of weird, too, because it seems like I'm hitting these guys when they're not, like, I'm not really aimed on them. I guess it's kind of a funny angle because there's two different parts of the reticle. So there's, like, the, the leading part and the following part. And as long as you can kind of line those up, I guess it works. But, all right, we got all of those. And on to the next little segment here. We do kind of skip right over a uh, cinematic cutscene, which basically gives us the indication that, oh, look at that. They found a way in. The back door is open. And it's not a trap. So we all go ahead and we make our way into that, which it actually takes us inside another little run here, which is pretty cool. We're in like a little, I don't know if I'd call it a canyon or what we'd call it, but uh, it's definitely a pretty awesome little run. So there are a couple of mini kits available during this little section here. As you might have guessed, we're going to skip through all of those. Um, there's some green turrets you can take out. I think you need to get three or four of those in order to get... A mini kit and there's also a ring of studs so remember I told you I accidentally had to replay this level again it's because of this mini kit coming up here in about 10 seconds we make a right turn and uh, we should have turned take it a left back at Albuquerque but we take a right right here and we end up following through this trail and I think it's the next uh, next little stud circle coming up yep there it is oh gosh I tried to avoid it on the upper left side when I came through on my first time and that was not doable so I had to replay that so Anyhow, we got through that. We got through that whole little trench area. Maybe that's the best word for it, huh? The trench. And, uh, yeah, so now we're going up and over back into another trench. There's more green guns. It seems like there are way more green cannons than you really need. Looks like I just got one, and I think it said five. So maybe you need to get five total ones. But, um, yeah, we have uh, skipped the ring of studs. We're going to go ahead and uh, make our way all the way to the end and check this out. We have one last little section in the X-Wing, and this one might make you a little dizzy, too, because we're just kind of flying around in a circle. Now, speaking of which, flying around in a circle, you see the same things over and over again. Now, you can see on the side wall there, there is actually a First Order emblem in red. Pretty much all of the stuff in red is what you need to destroy. However, in this particular case, because we are still in the story version of this series, we are not going to shoot the red emblem because that's going to actually give us a mini kit. You actually need three total, and I'm not exactly sure where the third one is. Maybe they're all right there. Maybe we already got the first one, and those are the same two we keep passing, or I can't tell. Maybe it's just the same one. Anyhow, uh, blast all the red stuff, and booyaka show! Supreme Leader! You will sell some ruptures. The collapse of the planet has begun. Leave the base at once and come to me with Kylo Ren. It is time to complete his training. What? What? Uh. Focus this way! That lightsaber, it belongs to me. Oh, to the yeah. This is one of my favorite parts of the movie when Finn grabs a hold of the lightsaber and uh, love is uh, basically r rampaging through him and he's ready to kick some Kylo Ren butt. So we, it looks like we're just kind of dancing around and running from, well, that's because we are. So as it turns out, Kylo Ren has very, very damaging close-range attacks. And if you get close to him, he will take your hearts out. And uh, and I don't mean the heart that uh, is making us ravage and fight for revenge here. I do mean the hearts that keep you alive and keep your studs all in one piece. But uh, So we're going to avoid him. And it's, it's the rule of three here, kind of twice, I guess, because you have to do it once with Finn and then, I guess, once with Rey. But, so w my best piece of advice here is just to stay away. And just keep running around. And I don't know if there's a timer going on here or if it's a certain spot in the area you have to be to trigger this. But um, you can see I'm just barely dodging them them uh, swipes with the saber. But eventually he'll go ahead and attack you. And you'll have to press the button above Finn's head and then rapidly press the next button that pops up. And each time you do that, you remove one section of health from him. So like I said, it's the rule of three. So we've gotten two down. And here in a second, we'll get that third one. But, uh, oh, wait, they switched it on us, and now we actually, uh, we've got engulfed with the force, and we cannot move. So we're going to switch to Ray, who is injured up above, and actually has a couple of stormtrooper baddies bothering her as well. 
But we're going to stumble on over to this bridge and make our way across, which actually uh, gives us a little bit of an advantage point here and some buildable bricks. So check this out. We're going to build these bricks up. I believe you can build them left or right. And either way, I think they charge up and distract Kylo Ren. Uh, I did not build the other way, so I'm not sure. Maybe you can only build them one way. Look at that. Freeze, Ray. That's right. Where are you going? Nowhere. So we freeze him up, and we go back up top. But it actually cues us to switch back to Finn. So we are, our back plane is Finn now. And we're going to finish up that rule of three real quick. I thought that was pretty cool, too. Every time you shoot at Kylo, he deflects them. I know that that was something you could do in the earlier LEGO Star Wars games, and obviously something you see a lot in the movies where the Jedis reflect pew-pews, shout at them. So uh, I thought that was pretty sweet, too. Although I did find that so far I have not been able to do that in this game. I don't know if like maybe Luke is a little bit more trained with the Force and a little bit better, or maybe Vader can do it too. I don't know. I haven't played as any of those major main staple characters that really possess the Force. But uh, all right, so we're just about ready to get attacked for the third time. Here it is, and spam, 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 spam. Once we get that completed, it'll actually complete the rule of three. And oh, uh oh, he doesn't look too happy. I like this little. <laughs> All right, so this time he actually knocks our lightsaber out of our hand and then grabs us and slams us with the force. And look at that. He shoots, he scores. And all right, we are down for the count, and he's going to grab our lightsaber. But wait, there's more. Check out Ray. She has the force as well, and she is summoning that saber. And oh, wait for it. Wait for it. He thinks he's got it. Nope. Come on now. Come on. I, I like how they, <laughs> if you read the text too, it's pretty funny too. But it wouldn't look as cool if I walked over and grabbed it. And successfully, Ray grabs it. And now we have to fight Kylo Ren as Ray, except for we're Ray. So we got to do the same type of thing. We got to kind of avoid the battle until he does his jump attack and then respond to the jump attack. Whoa. Slicing through trees like hot butter. That was pretty cool, huh? I won't lie, I would love a lightsaber. Now, on a total another note, I did see something on the YouTubes the other day where a kid created, like, the most powerful laser beam bazooka. I think that's what it's called. It's like Laser Bazooka. And uh, I, I don't remember the, the channel creator's name. Otherwise, I'd drop a link and, and let you know. It was crazy. This dude, like, built, like, one of the longest most powerfulest lasers ever and he explains it all and essentially it cuts through plastic cardboard and a bunch of stuff it'll ruin eyes if you even look at a reflection like he was very careful not to even shine it into the video camera because he didn't know if it would damage the camera or if somehow the light was bright enough to maybe hurt eyes even uh, watching on a tv screen so very cool stuff i don't know if we're getting closer to the world of star wars and having laser based pew pew guns but uh, a lightsaber would be pretty cool in the hands of the right person. I think, what is it, uh, in the Family Guy series, too, they have those uh, lightsaber cheese cutters that Peter gets in that little gift basket. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty sweet, too, being able to cut, like, your steaks and stuff with a lightsaber. That'd be epic. All right, we just took one in the chops, and as a result, we lost a few bluesies. We are getting close to another jump attack. This is close quarters, and it's really hard to avoid his close contact attacks, but we managed to get through most of them. But uh, the only difference between this one and Finn's session is that once he does attack, you have the ability to walk up to him and give him the old pow right and kiss it. Now, okay, once we get him and he's got the force and, and basically holding down Ray, and we are cued to switch back to Finn, go ahead and use the grapple hook on the middle tree, which will then dump snow on to Mr. Kylo Ren, and it really irritates him, but it also gives us the ability to get up top with Ray, and then we can make our way all the way over to this checkerboard path that we can push this big old, I don't know if it's an ice block or what it really is, but um, it does require both characters on the checkerboard pathway, so make sure you get them both over there, stumble both Ray and Finn over to there, and look at that, you could do it, put your back into it, once we get it pushed all the way over, we, uh... See the tree come falling down, and we slide down too, and oh no, watch that next step. But uh, this is pretty cool. We make our way all the way up and around. It does switch back and forth, and uh, once we are both reunited, I guess we were supposed to switch to Ray and make it up here, but she made it up on her own thanks to the smart AI. And look at that. There's a grapple hook that can get us up to the very top, 
And of course, once we're up here, there's some bouncing bricks. And oh, the bad guy is still here too. Uh oh. So we have one last little session here where we got to get up close and spam the button as indicated. And then it'll actually take us into the final cutscene. And then we've just got the, the epilogue, which is really just kind of like a, a short extended cutscene. And uh, pretty cool stuff, though. If you haven't seen the movie, it is certainly a spoiler as to what's ahead. If you have seen the movie, then you already know. So, woo to the who. We have completed the first set of spammings, and we are spamming the second one. And once we get through this one, it actually uh, takes us away. So, O oh to the yeah. Enjoy the final cutscene for the finale. Go home. to me trophy achievement does belong to me the finale level is complete free play is unlocked and we got a gold brick for doing just that now as promised earlier we did not get that true jedi requirement we fell just about halfway short and uh, no red brick or mini kits in this video either however we did earn or unlock a couple of character and vehicle tokens and uh, as you can see here in a second too we unlock for purchase quite a few that we can uh, get floating around in the hubs and whatnot so all right that being said we also unlocked a new level otagon assault i probably slaughtered that name but uh oh look at that you know what this screen means that can only mean one thing that's gonna wrap it up for lego star wars the force awakens level 10 the finale story and uh boy does it feel good to get through these i know a lot of you have already finished the story but uh as you know a walkthrough specialist, I guess that's what I might consider myself. Uh, it sure uh, seems to be going pretty fast, so normally it takes us a couple of weeks to get through the story itself. We have done it in less than a week, so pat yourself on the back, and hopefully you're ready for free play. We do have a trophy achievement guide on our website, but I'll get to that in a second. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, of course, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. Uh, as just mentioned, we do have a trophy achievement guide for this game and many more at happythumbsgaming.com. We also have product and gaming reviews and some other fun stuff there too so uh, myself and Reese both have kind of the, the showcase of Lego stuff and, and all sorts of stuff so check it out let us know what you think if you have a special request for a build or maybe you want to see some mega blocks or something <laughs> mega blocks <laughs> Anyways, we'll take requests and do just about anything you want, but uh, I really don't hate Mega Bloks. It just seemed like a funny thing to say. So, anyhow, uh, as for me, that's going to do it for now. We do have one more level, as I said, for the actual The Force Awakens story, and then we're on to the new Star Wars adventures and free play. So, O to the A. As always, until next time, see ya.